हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस ऑडियो सेशन आई विल डिस्कस लैंडस्केप ऑफ द सोल आई विल डिस्कस द समरी ऑफ लैंडस्केप ऑफ द सोल दो आई हैव प्रीवियसली डिस्कस्ड द एंटायर चैप्टर फ्रॉम द टेक्स्ट आई थॉट टू रिवाइज द समरी सो दैट द कॉन्सेप्ट बी क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो लेट स्टार्ट अ वंडरफुल टेल is told about the chinese painter wu doji who lived in the 8th century and you all know about the mysterious disappearance of wu doji he went inside his own painting and he completely disappeared he was never seen again he was engaged by the emperor to paint on the palace wall it was the painter's last painting that means it was wu doji's last painting because after that he entered inside his own painting and the painter was never seen again mysterious disappearance of wu doji it was the painter's last painting he hid his work behind a screen which only the emperor could see the emperor admired the scene of forest mountains waterfalls and clouds hills on hilly paths uh, humans on hilly paths and birds in the sky the emperor uh, admired the entire landscape painting as been painted by wu doji which consisted of forests mountains waterfalls clouds humans on hilly paths and obviously flying birds in the sky in the cave at the foot of the mountain the painter said lift a spirit he clapped his hands and the cave door opened in a very mysterious manner after wu doji clapped his hands the door of the cave opened and the inside was also very beautiful Uh, acidic beauty we can presume the inside was splendid he clapped his hands and the cave door opened the inside was no less splendid he entered the cave with the emperor following him but before the emperor could move the entrance to the cave closed even the painting on the wall also disappeared the artist was never seen again and uh, he wu doji entered inside his own painting and then again the entrance of the cave that opened previously uh, when wu doji clapped his hands that entrance closed behind him and not only he disappeared mysteriously even the landscape painting that was drawn by wu doji it also disappeared and the artist was never seen again such stories are common in chinese folklore written by great philosophers like confucius and zhuangzi now actually these are the names of chinese philosophers they are learned men in some of their folk tales or in some of their ancient stories uh information about this mysterious disappearance of wu doji was written by them they reveal the spirit in which art was considered in ancient china contrast this story to the representative western painting now there is another particular story that story was also very interesting so let me just go through that story once a famous painter of londers wouldn't draw the eye of a dragon why i already told you all because he believed that or he thought that the dragon might come out of the painting if he if he goes on drawing the eye of the dragon and after if he completes it totally then the dragon might come out of the painting so i continue a famous painter of flanders wouldn't draw the eye of a dragon he had painted he had a fear that with open eyes the dragon would fly out of the painting now there is a third story and the third story is very important it is related with quintain messiahs 
there is a third story of 15th century antwerp it is modern belgium a blacksmith called quinten messiaes fell in love with a painter's daughter but his profession was that of a blacksmith the father rejected his suit because of his profession the father of the daughter rejected him initially because his profession was a very low profession that is profession of a blacksmith so quinten one day got into the studio and painted a fly on his latest canvas it looks so realistic that the painter tried to drive it away in your text it is written swat it away swat means to drive it away so what quinten did quinten uh, stealthily uh, went inside the painter studio painter means the daughter's father studio and painted a realistic image of a fly now when the daughter's father entered his own studio he was surprised to find out later that it was not a real fly though initially he decided to drive it away and uh, later he came to know that it was actually painted by quinten messiaes and he became so impressed and uh, he decided to teach quinten the art of drawing and painting and quinten became his apprentice so quinten one day got into the studio and painted a fly on his latest canvas on the walls of the canvas it was been painted by quinten it looks so realistic that the painter tried to drive it away then he realized what had happened and finally he was very impressed and i already told you he accepted quinten as his apprentice so it is written here also he accepted quinten as his apprentice quinten married his beloved and became one of the most famous painters of his age not only that quinten uh, married his uh, daughter and became one of the most famous painters of his age now the two stories show what each our form of art try to achieve the european art excelled in creating perfect likeness in asia the art presented the inner life and spirit as we can see in the paintings of udausi whereas there is a uh, there is a great amount of realism or we can say perfect likeness was created by the european painter that can be seen in the painting of quinten messiaes in the chinese story the emperor admires the outer appearance but the artist reveals to him the true meaning of his work the emperor may rule over the conquered territory or land but only the real artist knows the way within the emperor might be supreme in his power of domination he might rule over a particular domain or a land or a country but when it comes to art the real the true artist has the real power because the artist knows the genuine artist the real artist knows the way within that is the mysterious works of the universe the a classical chinese landscape unlike western painting does not present an actual view now uh, i explained also in detail the difference between a chinese painting and a european painting a european painter always will say to you to borrow his eyes whereas in case of a chinese painting the chinese painter will leave you to think about the painting on your own and in order to understand a chinese painting you have to enter the mind of the painter but in case of a european painting the painter will suggest you to borrow his eyes that means he will give you directions uh, of appreciating his painting unlike a chinese painter in case of a chinese painting there is exercise of mind and soul physical and mental exercise both happens in case of a uh, analyzing or critically analyzing a chinese painting unlike a european painting the european painter wants you to look at the landscape exactly as he saw it from a particular angle the chinese landscape is not realistic you can enter it from any point i already told you dear students in case of a chinese painting 
you can enter it from any point. He only creates a path for your eyes to travel up and down in a leisurely fashion. Yes, you can move up and down in a leisurely fashion. This method is illustrated best in the case of a scroll. As you roll the painting, scroll up to move on to another painting, you find a dimension of time in it. The viewer has to travel through the painting along with the painter. This is very important. I already told you while you are judging a Chinese painting, it is an exercise of the mind and the soul in case of the viewer also. And the viewer also has to travel uh, along with the painter in order to appreciate his painting. That is the main thing. The viewer's participation is both physical and mental. The reason is that the landscape is an inner one, a spiritual one. The reason is the landscape is an inner one and it is can be said to be a spiritual one. Uh, dear students, uh, a bit of this summary is left that I will continue in my next audio session. Listen to it and clarify your doubts if any. Thank you students. Thank you all.